Hey everyone, and welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about the top games releasing for the Nintendo Switch in the month of June 2021. Now let me tell you, when I was prepping this list, it was almost scary how many potential games looked awesome for the month of June. Now we do have a couple of bigger releases, but there are also sort of those indie games that seem like they have a lot of potential coming out for this month. And by the way, I know I'm a couple of days late on this video and that we're already June 3rd as of when I'm going to be posting this. But nonetheless, I think it's still worthwhile taking a look at what's coming up for the month of June. And especially with E3 hitting in a week or two, well, you know what? We're probably going to get a bunch of shadow drops or at least line up the month of July as well. So I've managed to single out actually 17 games that I really think we should be keeping an eye on for the month of June. And good news, some of these games actually have free downloadable demos that are already available today. Obviously, for the ones that don't, we'll be keeping an eye out and checking the reviews as the games are releasing. But now let's get started on the list. And just before we do that, just a quick reminder that if you like this content, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Now the first game we're going to take a look at is actually already available as of filming of this video because I'm filming this slightly after midnight and the game was releasing on June 3rd so therefore you can actually purchase the game as soon as this video goes live. And that is Astalon Tears of the Earth and this is a puzzle action platformer that has you swapping between three different characters. Obviously some challenges can only be completed by certain characters. Now, good news, this is one of the games with a free downloadable demo. And although it has a beautiful retro 8-bit style, I am going to give that tough as nails warning. Because just in the demo itself, the game does already show that it has a level of complexity and difficulty to it that is probably just going to go up and up as you get further down the game. Now it did release at $20, and if you want to see how long the game is, we could wait for full reviews of the game, but nonetheless, this one has already convinced me that if you're into those tough as nails, retro style puzzle action platformers, Tears of the Earth is a great pickup in my opinion at $20. Now the second game on our list is also already available, and that is Sunblaze that just released today once again on June 3rd. Now it's currently also on sale for 15% off, dropping the price to $12.74 rather than the regular $14.99. Now this is sold as a precision platformer, so think Super Meat Boy with dedicated stages and basically tough as nails platforming. I'll be honest with you, before dropping the money on this one, I would wait for a review or two, because especially this month, there's actually two or three more precision platformers that are releasing, and this is the one that I'm the most on the fence about. But I still did want to mention it, because as soon as those reviews start popping up, if I have time to review it myself, I would definitely keep an eye to see if this one is worth picking up. Now next is another game that should be releasing today, but at the moment is still not available. And that is Chroma Quaternion, which is a JRPG that in my opinion attracted me number one with its beautiful art style and number two with the description of its battle system. It honestly sees, seems like a different play on the Bravely default system that we saw in that line of games. Basically, by the description, you can sort of save turns and then unlock multiple actions at once, or you can just play in the basic turn-based format. So in my opinion, that sounded a lot like the system in Bravely Default. And at only $14.99, if this is a well-crafted JRPG with a very interesting battle system that gives a fresh turn on events, well, you know what? This could be a really decent investment for anyone into that genre. Now next, we're finally jumping into the future to June 4th with DC Superhero Girls Teen Power that is releasing at full price for $59.99. Now, this is not one of my personal top choices, but I'll tell you right away, my girls are very excited for this release because they're very into the DC Superhero Girls franchise. The good news, however, for this game is that it's being made by a developer that although they specialize in younger audience games, generally puts a decent level of quality into their games. So you might actually get a pretty decent game out of this. I am going to give a warning, however. I personally will most likely, even though my girls are excited about it, wait to pick this one up because they also generally go on sale pretty quick. 
So if you're looking to pick this game up, if you want a friendly suggestion, I would try and wait for maybe a month or two and possibly be able to pick this game up close to half price. Can promise that's going to happen, but if we follow the general tendency of these huger releases from these studios, it'll happen pretty quickly. Now the next game to look at is also releasing on June 4th, and that is Skellboy Refractured. And this is a game that I personally am much more interested in. And its release price right now is on pre-order bonus at $16, but after that its regular sales price will be $20. Now this is an action RPG that really has a 2D slash 3D type of art style. Basically all your characters are in 2D, but they're working through a 3D world, which actually gives it a very original presentation. Secondly, it also has a co-op mode and a really original premise where you can swap out your different body parts to give your character different abilities and different stats. I personally think I will be picking this one up, especially because it has that local co-op mode that I am really interested in trying. Now for our next game, we're jumping to June 5th. And we're talking about the first indie release that has me truly and honestly really excited for the month of June, and that is Mighty Goose, that is releasing as a run-and-gun shooter that, in my opinion, it seems very reminiscent of the Gunstar Heroes type of gameplay. But on top of it, your hero is a goose in mechanized armor, which is just an awesome premise all around, and on that simple fact alone would have me trying out the game. So on June 5th for $20, I am going to be giving this one a try and hopefully I'll be able to report back to you shortly. If the gameplay is tight and solid, we might have something special on our hands here. Now the next game on our list, we're jumping to June 9th with Alba A Wildlife Adventure that is releasing for $19.99. Now this game was featured in an indie direct just a month or two ago. And it is described as a chillectaton, basically a collectaton but you do in a very chill manner. And the gameplay is described as just running around and doing good deeds. Now, I do think that Alba A Wildlife Adventure will correspond to a very large audience, especially the fans of the Animal Crossing series. I would keep this one on my radar because it's sort of giving me those same type of vibes where the game is all about just adventuring, having fun, but not having any precise objectives, not putting any pressure on you to complete anything rapidly or in a certain manner. Alba, a wildlife adventure, the fact that Nintendo also featured it in a direct points that we're probably going to get something special here. Now, next on our list, we are jumping to June 10th, and we're looking at another one of my personal top releases for the month of June with the Ninja Gaiden Master Collection. And personally, I actually ordered a physical copy from Japan. So I paid extra, I'm importing a physical copy because this is a game that I have to have in my collection. I love the Ninja Gaiden series, I've talked about it, I love the retro series, but also the 3D remakes that they did on the different PlayStation and Xbox consoles were amazing, amazing 3D iterations of the Ninja Gaiden series. Fair warning though, these games are very, very difficult. Obviously, if you're used to 3D action games like the Devil May Cry series and whatnot, you'll be able to work your way through them. But these aren't easy pick up and play action games. They do try to evoke the same type of gameplay that we got from the original Ninja Gaiden, meaning that you're going to have to learn the stages, learn the different methods of dealing with the bosses and different enemies. But for three games at this price for $45 right now with its pre-launch bonus, or $50 once it's released for all three games, you are getting a seriously decent collection here. Now the next game on our list had to be mentioned, and that is Game Builder Garage coming on June 11th for a release price of $29.99. Number one, I'm really glad Nintendo is releasing this as not a full priced project, but for $29.99. Number two, I do want to say I am sort of disappointed if we won't be able to browse games directly online and we'll need a sort of friend code sharing system to actually play other people's games. But nonetheless, I do think that this is one of the games that could change the landscape once again on the Nintendo Switch and actually give us a pretty decent uh, capability of sharing within the community. And I personally want to try some of your games out. I'm going to be picking up this game. And once it actually releases, I want to try and figure out a system where some of you can show me the games that you're making 
And you know what? If we find some gems out there, maybe we'll make videos around the games that you give me to play. Now for our next game, we're actually jumping all the way to June 22nd with Super Magbot that is releasing for $17.99. Now, if you're into difficult Super Meat Boy style precision platformers, this is one that you don't have to ask questions about. It is very good. How do I know this? Well, it has a free downloadable demo that you can actually download yourself and try the game out. Now, although it is reminiscent of Super Meat Boy in the fact that they are short 2D stages that you really have to learn by heart how to get through them. At the same time, though, it has a totally different mechanic from getting around. Number one, you can't jump at all in the game. You have to use your magnetic gun to pull yourself through the stages or propel yourself through the stages. But it is a extremely fun and interesting gimmick. And trust me, if you try this game and you're into difficult precision platformers, Super Magbot, I'm pretty sure, will convince you to pick it up. So next, on June 22nd as well, we have LEGO Builder's Journey releasing at $19.99. Now, this is a puzzle game using LEGO-inspired environments. And I'm a kid. I grew up playing with LEGOs. I love LEGOs. I still have LEGOs here. And you know what? A puzzle game based around those LEGOs and a builder's journey is something definitely I want to experience. This game has already released on other platforms and has very decent reviews, and I think it will find a very nice home on the Switch, especially in a portable format to pick up and play a couple of stages here and there. Now, we also have a third game releasing on June 22nd, which is Alex Kidd in Miracle World DX for $19.99. Now, this is a complete from the ground up remake of a Sega Master System game, but it is a excellent game when it released back in the day although it had 8-bit graphics and the remake is looking like it's something special and this is another one of my top picks i'm getting a physical copy of this game as well for the month of june and alex kid in miracle world is just going to come with one warning if it's anything like it was back in the day it is a tough as nails 2d platformer however so be ready for a challenge if you do decide to pick this game up Hopefully they've made some quality of life improvements to make this accessible for everyone, but the original Alex Kidd were only for dedicated fans. Now the next game we're going to look at is Legend of Mana releasing on June 24th. This is the remake of a PS1 action RPG that is among some of the best that we got. It's releasing for $29.99 with some truly stunning HD graphics. And I can tell you personally, since I played the original, a very solid action RPG storyline. So if you're into the series, if you're into Square Enix games, if you've played any of the other Mana series and you've enjoyed them, definitely, definitely pick up Legend of Mana. You are getting a really, really solid game. Now, the next game that is hitting on June 25th, I don't think needs much introduction, but that is Mario Golf Super Rush. Now, this game is releasing once again at full price for $59.99. It's a Mario game. It wasn't going to release at anything under that. But personally, normally I'm not super into the Mario Golf series, but this is one of the first games that by looking at the features, looking at the gameplay, I will probably be picking up for this month. Normally the Mario Sports series, I'm pretty much only into the Strikers and Tennis series. But you know what? This Mario Golf with the gameplay they've shown and the competitiveness on the courses, it looks like it's going to be quite a interesting release. So for our next game, we're jumping to June 29th. And June 29th is going to be another one of those packed dates with our final three games releasing on the same day. The first of those games is going to be Disgaea 6 Defiance of Destiny. Now this game is releasing for a full price of $59.99 and it has a free downloadable demo. If you've never played a Disgaea game, it is a strategy RPG with a beautiful anime art style and really over the top action. If you want a strategy RPG with crazy characters, crazy damage and crazy action, the Disgaea series is one you should definitely check out. Now, the second game releasing on June 29th is going to be Destroy All Humans, which had originally released back on the PS2. And this game is being ported for $39.99. Now, it is a 3D action adventure game where, get this, you are playing the invading alien rather than playing as the humans trying to get, defend against the invasion. It is just tons of fun terrorizing the humans, 
destroying cities and basically finding a way to take over the earth. And the last game releasing on June 29th and the last game on our list is going to be the double pack of Zombies Ate My Neighbors and Ghoul Patrol. Now this is a cult classic from the 16-bit era and it's releasing for only $14.99 for both games. These are top-down action shooters and honestly, although they are pretty difficult, they are some really, really great games. And as I said, they have become cult classics. So it's a beautiful thing to see them re-releasing on the Nintendo Switch. And to be able to play these games portably is going to be quite something special. If you're into retro gaming and you haven't played these games yet, definitely pick up the pack on June 29th. So that is pretty much it for my list of the top games for the month of June. At least the ones in my opinion that we should really be keeping an eye on. And it is insane the number of amazing games that seem to be coming out this month. And I actually had to trim down this list by at least three or four other games that I was really sort of on the fence about and that I decided, you know what, I'll talk about them once I've tried them and made sure that they are decent releases. Secondly, with E3 right around the corner, we might really get some amazing shadow drops towards the end of the month. So I am going to be keeping my ear to the ground and I'll be popping back up if ever that happens. Lastly, let me know in the comments down below if you're going to be picking up Game Builder Garage, because as I said earlier, I think that could be a very interesting video series where every couple of weeks we come out and we try a few of the games that you send me. So if you're going to be picking up and you're interested in sharing those games, let me know in the comments down below. And just on the way out, don't forget, as I said earlier, if you do like this content, please hit the like button, subscribe if you aren't already. Oh, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. And as usual, I hope I'll see you in my next video.